Hi parents, it's Miss Emily from the Learn and Play Montessori team. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really easy counting cards that you can use to help your children practically understand numbers. They'll understand the number formation as well as one-to-one -one correspondence as they can use items to count out the numbers. What's more, you can even use these counting cards to help your children with addition and subtraction. So uh, grab your materials and let's go! To create our counting cards, we're going to use some coloured A4 card. We're going to fold it in half and then we'll cut along the middle. And this is going to create two equal sized cards that we can use for our number cards. And I've chosen an assortment of colours just to make it a little bit more fun. Now, on my first piece of card, I'm going to write the number 1. I wrote it in a pencil and then I traced over it with a pen so that it was more visible. However, if you'd like to print off some numbers, you can do that and simply cut them out and then stick them onto the card. I then also drew one circle to correspond with the number 1. And this is going to be the space that your child can put items inside. I then continued on to the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. I only did up to 10 this time. However, you can take your number cards beyond 10. You could go up to 20. And then of course your child can count items out. And don't forget, you'll need the right amount of circles for each card to correspond with the number. Now, the counting cards are done. You may wish to laminate them if you want, and then you can do extra activities, such as asking your child to trace the number with a pen. Then you can rub it off and use it again and again. You could also stick stickers along the number and then peel the stickers off. But of course, you'll have to laminate it first. Now, let me give you an example of how we can use these counting cards to count with our children and help them with their one-to-one -one correspondence. I chose some delicious cereal to help me count out my numbers. However, your child may use some other small item that they like. However, cereal is always a good choice because it also serves as a delicious snack as we count. You may place the number one in front of your child and ask them to put one piece of cereal onto the card. And of course, they'll try to put it into the circle. They can then understand that that is one. And to reinforce this, you may then ask them to trace the number one with their finger. Now your child may choose to eat their one snack and move on to the next number, or they could simply put the piece of cereal back into the bowl. Now we can move on to number two. Can your child count out two pieces of cereal and put them into the circle? Hmm, I wonder if they can eat two as well. And don't forget, use their finger to trace the number two, reinforcing the word so that they can understand the word, the image, as well as the amount. And of course, you can work all the way up to number 10. And this may take a while. Your child will meticulously count out 10 pieces of cereal and again, will trace the number 10 with their fingers. If your child is already confident with their counting, understands amounts and knows exactly what the numbers look like, can trace them and possibly even write them, you may decide to move on to some simple addition and subtraction. You can simply use some of your number cards and cut out a small plus sign, a minus sign and an equal sign. And then you can use these to create sums. And it's great because you can help your child to count out the pieces of cereal to make sure that the sum is correct. I hope you enjoyed finding out how to make your own number cards. And I'm sure the activities that you'll come up with at home to use these to enforce numbers will be endless. I hope your child enjoys learning their numbers. Bye.